Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time! Last time, Zelda and Impa escaped from Ganondorf at Hyrule Castle, and Zelda thinks she threw something into the moat here and didn't quite get a good look at it. Let's take a look around. Let's see. Well, there's something down there, but I can't swim around down there for very long because the water is too shallow. There you go! Oh, well, there's the namesake! So, what does this thing do? Whoa. Oh, hey, how's it going? Is this thing like a seashell or a telephone or something? Or how are you talking to me? Well, it's telepathy, I would assume, just because, well, they've had telepathy since... At least a link to the past. And they're elf people, so of course they have telepathy. Or something. Or maybe it was like a delayed telepathic message or something. I don't know. But someone was asking about that. Oh. Okay. But I already have an ocarina. So yeah, that's the theme that plays at the Temple of Time there. And this song has quite a few uses, actually. In addition to using it at the Temple of Time there. So this replaces the fairies ocarina that Saria gave it to us. Oh, sorry, spoiled it five seconds in advance. We gotta play it at the Temple of Time now that we've got the three spiritual stones and all that. Or we can do side quests, which is what I'm gonna do now. Oh, I was gonna say, what are you getting all excited about there, Navi? Let's see, I want to talk to Saria. Maybe I should return her ocarina. Listen. But, uh, yeah, sure. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, something like that. I just threw out your ocarina in the notes there, I guess, or something. Well, let's see what was happening back at Hyrule Castle here. And Ganondorf was... I'm doing something. Oh. What was that? Oh. Okay. Can anyone tell me what was going on? I mean, I know there was something with Ganondorf there. Some of the people around here comment about what was going on. Oh. Yeah, he knocked me flat on my ass. Well, yeah, I was kind of there. Oh, yeah, so he is. Not that I would know, because we never see the King of Hyrule, or... Well, not in... Not so far, anyway. Well, I guess we did... Didn't we see him in, like, the ending of A Link to the Past? Or something? Whatever. Let's see. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. We, we're not with the... Uh, happy Mask Shop, yeah, I still got the mask to deliver that I got from them. I was thinking about going in there for a moment, but, uh... Oh, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, really? W wouldn't you guys know about that? Well, I don't know. Whoa. Oh, so are you guys just laughing at each other incessantly or something? I don't know what's going on with them. Let's see. I think that the guy, the guy up here has something to say. The crowds of people really don't, and some of the other NPCs don't say anything new. 
Oh. Well, what is going on then? I mean, if they're thieves and you don't see them around very much, then who are they stealing from? And they gotta steal from someone. I don't know. But all right, yeah, let's see. Let's go a bit into this back alley. A lot of you guys were telling me about this. And let's see. And there's this little guard here, I guess. Well, judging by all the bottles next to him, he's probably very, very drunk. Oh, hey, how's it going? What do you mean? Oh, okay, so... Oh, he had others with him? I thought there was just the one guy. Oh, yeah, I, I got the message. We're, we're all good. Oh, well, he's probably just sleeping. That's okay, you can... Probably fell unconscious from all the booze he was drinking there. Let's see, there's a soldier guarding the gate there, but he just says, Hey, something happened at the castle, or whatever, and I gotta guard this gate, or whatever. He doesn't really say anything interesting. So, yeah, let's get out of here, and we've got a whole bunch more items to collect and stuff. Let's see. And there's a few things that I want to show off, too. Let's see. On the far northwest side of Hyrule Field there, is where we can find someone who wants the bunny hood. So, yeah, let's uh, get that out. Still got a couple more magic beans to plant as well. Oh, I'm actually going to need the bombs, though. Hmm. Let me see what I can do with the... There we go. Just move things around a little bit there. Because I need the bombs to blow up a boulder. Not that it's extraordinarily important, but I would like to show off another one of those little hidden grottos I got. Let's see, we got, where is it? I think that's a boulder in the distance. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between that and a pea hat from far away. Whoa, I don't need a haircut. Get in there. Okay, phew. I thought pea hats were supposed to go into the ground at nighttime, but maybe it wasn't quite nighttime yet, but uh, yeah, we got a little fairy's fountain if you got a haircut from the pea hat there, but I think we're doing good. Okay, let's get out of here and let's see. Now, to find the guy who wants the bunny hood, let's see, after the third dungeon, there's this guy who's running circles all the way around, what is that, uh, Lon Lon Ranch there I is that the guy already oh okay well usually he's running circles around Lon Lon Ranch I usually don't find him quite this quickly but he is here and you can't talk to him while he's running circles there but once it's nighttime he'll just sit down take a break and he wants the bunny ears for some reason Oh. oh, great. I can only carry so much, though. But at least we may, we're may we making one hell of a profit. And those rupees are real. This is not like a, a fake out thing or something like that. Yeah, they fill up your entire wallet. However much capacity you've got, that's how much he'll give you there. But yeah, usually I don't find that guy until like he's all the way around here by the fences or whatever and i have to chase him around for a little while because it's still daytime although you could just play the what is it i would imagine you could just play the sun song to get him to stop at least on the field there that probably work i think but let's see, okay, we want to get to southwest of the Kokiri Forest, and let's see, somewhere around here there's a boulder that I couldn't explode earlier, but now that we got bombs, we can! So let's see what we can do here. Oops. Yeah, it looks like I had to take the tank the damage on that one, but that's okay. 
threw out my bomb a little too quickly there, but that's all right. Can I get a heart or no? No, no hearts. Okay. Well, we got more rupees. Not that I'll ever need it now because I've already bought all the magic beans that I could get and there's really nothing else remotely comparably expensive in the game. So, yeah, getting the 50 rupee or 500 rupees doesn't really matter that much anymore. It's weird. I mean, they give you like all these rupees at this point, not to mention other side quests later in the game, and there's really nothing to spend it on. I mean, I guess you, what what could you buy? Um, potions? You would never want to buy a tunic. Uh, sounds like a pea hat. And going through that little uh, valley between there with the pea hat above me reminds me of that final scene in Mission Impossible with the helicopter and the tunnel. That was pretty cool. Are you still following me? Get away from me, man. Okay, let's see. Now, let's see. I'm going to need, yeah, Din's Fire coming up here. And then, let's see. Circle of Stones. Shard of Agony. You know what that means. Boom! Oh, let's see. Ha ha! I wasn't sure if that was a heart or a... What is it? A uh, red rupee or something under the boulders there. But yeah, if you just... Now that we got Din's Fire... Really, game? Really? I have to blow up the hole again? <sighs> okay! Game! And I have to burn the spider webs again. Wow! Holy cow, game. That is so horrible. Okay, let's see. In the area around here with the cow, let's see. Yeah, we got the gold sculptula there. And now that we got the boomerang and Din's fire, we can grab it. Hooray! Let's see. Can I get some magic? There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. That's all that we really need from that. And let's see, I need it to be nighttime going into Gerudo Valley there. Because, well, I believe I told you about a gold sculptula over there that we couldn't get before until we got a particular item. But now that we have the boomerang, we can! So let's head on over there then. I could wait until nighttime if necessary, but I don't think that'll be the case. Or at least not for very long. Okay, so right by the waterfall. Let's see. There you go. Comes out of nothing. Ah, oh, come on! How did I miss that? Really? Okay, so we got that. Let's see, let's get the magic beans out because there's, if you recall, there is a soft soil spot that way down at the bottom of the valley there. So let's see, I should have 39 sculptulas, or sculptula tokens, awesome. Uh-oh. Hey. <laughs> I did the face plant! <laughs> I had so much trouble trying to do that. Like, in practice, I, I couldn't get it to work. Because usually, in order to do the face plant, you have to be diving into the water. But if you're diving towards, like, the rocky ground there... Uh, what is it? Link will just land on his feet and take damage. But for some... So if you dive towards the... Yeah, the stone floor there... You won't be able to get Link in that diving animation, but for some reason, this time I was. So, okay, yeah, that works. I almost thought about re-recording after screwing up that one... What is it? Th that one uh, hidden grotto there with the gold sculptula and all that. Oh, man, now it's 
daytime again. But, okay, let's see. While we're here at Lake Hylia, yeah, plant a magic bean there. And let's see. Oh, I already got everything I need, but I do need it to be nighttime. Because uh, there's a gold sculptula around here that, once again, we could not collect until we got the boomerang. So let's go back over here. Oop. There we go. You could lock on to the token with the boomerang, but as long as you're aiming, like, straight ahead from, like, Link's head there, you'll be able to do it, or get what you need. Okay, so we got the magic bean there. We should have 40 gold sculpture tokens. Okay, I think we're good. But, uh, yeah, I would like to go back to Hyrule Castle because, yeah, we sold the bunny hood there. And, well, now we gotta pay the money back for that. And there's something else we can get as long as we're over there. Oh, right, it's, uh, nighttime. I need it to be daytime again. Well, at least I don't have to go through, like, a warping animation or anything like that. Uh-oh. Huh. <laughs> I just walk out and pop out of the ground, like, Ah! Natural light! Get it off me! Get it off me! <laughs> Freaking out there, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Now let's actually talk to the happy mask salesman. There's still some other things that I want to do before heading to the Temple of Time, but we're almost done with all that good stuff. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah! All of them? Oh, uh, you're welcome. Oh, what's this? Hey, all right. Oh, really? Yeah, why, why, what could, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, okay, uh, I'm not really sure what that's all about, but okay. But yeah, for completing the mask trading side quest, we get the mask of truth. And, well, there's some items that we can, well, yeah, that we can get with that. But what'll happen when we play the Song of Time at the Temple of Time? Find out next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.